friends, this video on Wave Optics Part 5 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Please make sure that you have watched all the videos till part 4 before going ahead with part 5. So our focus in this lesson, as I told, since the name Wave Optics might be putting a question in your mind that what are we going to study in this lesson because we already studied optics. So in this Wave Optics, we will focus on the wave nature of light and some of the properties of wave nature. So we will study, I, just now I told you about the scientists who supported the wave nature of light, who proved that the wave nature of light is correct. Correct. So we will study about their principles. So the first we will study about Hygen's principle, which was the first and which was the basis of the wave nature of light. Next we will talk about Young's double slit experiment, which explained the phenomenon of interference. Then we will talk about interference in detail. We'll talk about another important property that is diffraction. And then we will talk about polarization. So this is our focus in wave optics. So in wave optics, we will study about wave nature of light and the properties associated with the wave nature of light. So now to start with, before starting with Hygen's principle, since we will talk about wave nature of light, so let us quickly review some of the terminologies which we keep using very often when we talk about waves. So let us quickly review the terminologies related to a wave. The first one, that is wavelength. What is wavelength? Wavelength is nothing but the distance between two consecutive crests or two consecutive troughs. For example, these are my two troughs. So the distance between them is wavelength. Right? Similarly, when we talk about frequency and time period, what is frequency and what is time period? If we have a wave like this, this is one cycle of a wave. Right? Because after this, the same cycle keeps repeating. So the time taken to complete this one cycle is known as time period. So the time taken to complete this much is time period. And what is frequency? That is the number of cycles covered per second. That is frequency. That is how many cycles are covered in one second. What is phase? When we talk about phase, we are talking about all such points which are at the same location, which are at the similar location rather. For example, if we are talking about this wave, this point, let us call this point as A, this point as B, this as C, D, E, F, G, H, I. Let us, let us, let me mark all these points. So when I talk of phase, if you look at this point A and point G, both of them are in the same phase because point A is also at the topmost position, it is thereafter it is coming down. Similarly, point G is also at the topmost position, thereafter it is coming down. So these two points are in phase. But if you look at point A and point B, they are not in phase. They are two different locations under two different situations. Whereas if you look at point B and point H, they are again in phase. These two points are again in phase. These two points are in phase. Now if you look at B and F, B and F are not in phase. Right? So this is what phase is all about because phase is something which we will be using on and off as we go ahead. And anyways, I have explained all these terms in detail. When we were studying the lesson on electromagnetic waves as well as waves and oscillations, there we have studied all these terms in detail. So I'm sure that you are all aware of all these now. So one new terminology which will be introduced in this lesson is wavefront. So let us discuss about wavefront in little. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos Try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thank you once again.